Hey guys, Skitsy here and welcome back to our Odysseus campaign. Before we jump in, just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying the series, make sure you leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe for more content. It really helps me out. Uh, if you remember from the last episode, we took over our little set of islands here, killed our first, uh, you know, nearby enemy, and now I think we're kind of on the hunt for our next, uh, next fight, next battle, next war, I guess. So I think I'm going to take our spy over here, who is kind of searching along the coast this way. I think I'm going to swing him back up here and check out these islands. Because if they're anything less than friendly to us, then it might be a good place to take over. Well, that's really slow moving. Uh, I'll have to find in the option how to speed these guys up. That's way too slow for my liking. All right, so let's check this guy out. I hope you're not just messing with me. Uh, they don't they don't really like us. Broke treaties with someone. I don't even know who that is. They're at war with someone right now. They don't really have any friends. They are unfriendly. Uh, they're pretty weak too. I think this might be a good target for us to attack. Are right, there these pig guys so maybe we bring our main army back up to the top there we do have some uh, replenishment we need to do oh and we have a point we need to spend let's check these out disciplinarian um, minus 15% attrition to heroes army plus 35% income from raiding interesting the collector 30% to treasures looted after battle. Hmm. We can do some casualty replenishment when we're raiding too. So it's really do we want more bonuses after we win battles or do we want to utilize raiding? Uh, let's, uh, you know, I kind of want to do some raiding stuff this time. Alright, so we're going to take a hit on replenishment here and I think I'm just going to have our guys go all the way back up to our top island. Odysseus. Oh, it takes your entire turn to get out on the sea. It's good to know. Still gaining some replenishment, I guess, because we're close enough to our to our uh, island. All right, what else do we have? Oh yeah, we need to decide on here. Um, three thousand one hundred and ten wood. And I have to say, I really do like how the main currency and the upgrading currency is split in this game. That's that's a pretty fantastic idea, you know. So you can kind of. You know, you have to make decisions on whether you have more income for, for each one, but it still allows you to do both, with, which feels nice. And do both, I mean, upgrade city stuff and still recruit and uh, maintain armies. You know, because a lot of times in Three Kingdoms, you know, when you're on the ropes, you're fielding so many armies, you don't have any income for uh, upgrading your settlements and stuff. What is this? Is this the one we took over? All right, let's, uh, you know, I don't even know what type of place this is. A bronze smelter. Gives us more bronze. Interesting. Looks like our, our influence is, yeah, our influence is going down. I want to keep that above 60%, apparently. All right, you know what? I think I'm just going to upgrade the main one here. See, uh, in this one. Keep our food income uh you know steadily growing it's kind of the goal there that one's complete and you know what i think i want to try and take a look at maybe getting some better um relations with our other partners here mainly sparta i guess they're pretty friendly actually achilles doesn't really like us that much Agamemnon is not very strong. They're all the way down to 87. All right, well, let's get Sparta going. Uh, military access, defensive allies. I wonder if they'll just, I guess they'll just do that, right? Let's see. Oh, I guess we can ask for a bunch. I don't like how there's no there's no modifier to make this go faster as far as I can tell. 
All right, let's get rid of these and see if we can get gold. They only have two gold. Okay. Uh, maybe some wood for upgrading. Not interested in food. So we could probably get the best deal on food. Just trying to figure out how this works. Let's do 500 and see where that puts us. Whoa. They really want this military alliance, huh? What if we do 5,000? Okay, getting closer. 3,000. No. 1,000. All right, closer. How about some stone? Nope. 100. It'd be nice if there was like an auto balance button. Kind of got spoiled from that in Three Kingdoms. 50. 200. Getting closer, guys. 150. All right, let's see if they'll take this. It's in our favor. So I guess as long as we have it in the positive, it's good. Let, let's try that. Military Alliance with Sparta. And they'll give us a bunch of resources. Certainly. Okay, that's easy enough. Fantastic. I guess we want military access too. Let's see if we can give them get them to give us something per turn. How about 100 per turn? 200? Nope. 150. Okay, one one thirty. All right, so military access, and they'll give us one thirty for five turns. Everyone better. All right, so we are kind of loaded up, being friends with Mister Sparta. Cool. All right, so that that's interesting. Um, how that works? I mean, it's very similar to other Total War games. Uh, I really miss the auto calculate button just to get you started off in the negotiation. Uh, that's right, our safe haven blew up. I wonder if it's worth trying to do this. Uh, you know, I was looking, Poseidon, if we can keep respected, we'll get another 15% movement at sea, which I feel like we're going to be on the sea a whole bunch. And plus, there's the minus two to siege engine holdout time, and we already have the minus one uh, on Odysseus, so that would make sieging way, way better. So I think I'm going to try just, you know, figuring this out. We can do one of these. Actually, let me make sure. Okay, there we're selected. Let's do one of these. Okay, cool. They they like us now. What if we do this one too? How much gold do we have though? Cult level up. Our temples and rituals have pleased the gods. The omen clearly show in our favor. Sweet. I like that. Good job. Uh... I don't know if this is the best use of gold, but I want to, I'm, you know, we're experimenting. Let's try it. 30 gold, 600 food stuff. That, like, didn't do anything. Oh, is this all I get? I only get the buff. I don't get any more fit. Yo, there's no favor. I didn't realize there was no favor we're adding. Okay, so this one gains a favor, and this one just gains a buff. Well, that was kind of a waste of resources, I think. Oh well, that's fine. We're we're still trying to figure things out. It's it's all good. I was curious about what this looks like once we have stuff going on. All right, this is a full-on trade report. Easy access to diplomacy, easy access to breaking uh, agreements. And here's kind of the breakdown of everything: units, characters. Got it. All right, I think we're just about ready to end the turn. Yeah, we, we can't upgrade anything. Oh, we can probably build a building here. More negative influence. We gotta figure out how to add influence, I think. You know, I think I want to save up and just make sure I get these boats upgraded as quickly as possible and food stuff as quickly as possible. So we're gonna hold off on that one for a turn or two. All right, let's end it. Cool, so since we're in a military alliance, we can see all their stuff, uh, very similar to other Total War games. All right, what is this? Some guy 
they're very weak they want to barter they want our stone I want my stone I want to keep my stone the military access with Sparta so it might be a good idea to do stuff with these guys let's do a counter offer and just take that off still in the positive yeah let's do that so that should give us a, a diplomacy buff with uh, with some people that we want to be friendly with. Who are you? Someone I can't even see. You're very very friendly. Whoa, what? Oh, military allies. I was thinking that was at war with. All right, so they're friendly with Sparta, which means I should probably be friendly with them. How about we make this less? garbage we can do non-aggressive pack military access and get them to give us something how about we get more wood 170 all right that's still in the positive let's do that so military access Wait, where do you have this? Why were they just asking for like 900 food for nothing? I don't yeah, I'm very confused about that. Maybe I just didn't understand what was going on there. All right, we did our issue a royal decree, food and wood. Did a commandment, wood and food. Uh, in any safe haven, ensure one of the following buildings have been constructed. All right, I guess we need to... Yeah, I guess we need to do another safe haven. Should mutters of discontent reach your ears, discourage open rebellion with threats of force. On the other hand, a wise ruler knows that contented subjects mean a long and happy reign. Yeah, we gotta work on our happiness. Maintain control of two providence provinces. Sure. All right, we're starting to get twenty gold per turn. I guess that's good. I don't. I don't know. Prayer answered. An untamed black horse has been spotted near the edge of the forest. This can only mean that Poseidon, god of the deep, smiles upon your our endeavors. Okay, cool. Nothing is unthinkable. All right, I'm gonna take this guy up maybe here and do a safe haven just so we're still kind of revealing some of the map and stuff all right safe haven what is this trait gained minus five percent to successful chance of all agent actions sentimental is that the second negative effect that guy has gotten Oh, I guess not. I was mistaking it for this one, I, I suppose. All right, so we have to figure out how to spend points here, too. Looks like they have quite a bit of skills as well. So plus 12% agent movement or plus 5% chance of all spy actions. Um, I guess we can do this one just to counter effect that negative one we got. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so let's build this. That should take care of that mission we just got assigned. Need another royal decree. Um, ooh, campaign movement range of all armies. Minus 33% attrition due to siege a agent action and sea travel. Maybe we get some food going. Food and growth. There's more food. But there's happiness. That's probably pretty good to have. And then influence. 
all from stone. Let's start with the food one, I think. I don't know what this guy is doing near us. Who are you? Can I can I see who you are? I don't know who you are. Huh. Alright, let's get our guy up here. I'm just gonna hop into that city. Probably not. Maybe I'll go all the way up to Ithaca. Oh, we're still gaining some here. That'll take eight turns, or six turns. Okay. Maybe I just combine these guys. I do need to stop somewhere and recruit at least one more. Maybe we'll stop, we'll merge a couple, do a turn of recruiting from here, and kind of launch launch our battle uh, battle plans from here. Don't make me regret listening to. Yeah, this is the one that we don't like. I thought it was the pig guy. Yeah, he's kind of neutral. Oh, okay, settlement upgrade stuff, um, food, this does happiness too, so bronze, we'll get bronze instead of food, hmm, we really need to get our happiness on the positive side here, I think that, oh, okay, the provincial instability is slowly ticking down, so... We will slowly switch the other way. Disgruntled populace. Huh, okay. Well, let's do this one. That's fine. Can't do anything else there. Also fine. Uh, what is there to do? Let's see if we can keep doing this stuff. Oh, we're losing favor. We, didn't, we lost 10, I think. Does it go down each turn? Be able to start uh, another one in four turns. Okay. Huh. So I guess it's just a constant thing you have to keep up with. Got it. Understood. Alright, I think we're set here to go ahead. Oh, here's a buff. Oh, this is from our prayer. Yeah, it's, it's going to be gone before it's useful to us. Alright, let's end the turn here. Why are there a bunch of random people kind of coming into my territory? All right, what do you want? Who are you? Do we have any kind of good relations with you? Sort of. Rank 27. Are you friends with any of our buddies? That Pylos you are friends with. Bronze for wood. I don't know why they think they can just swindle me out of some extra stuff here we're not really using a whole lot of bronze and we can use all the wood we can get right now so that for six turns I'm, I'm okay with this you can get out of my territory though epic mission successful we did it all right, so Odysseus's schemes, plus three to growth, pillar of the Achaeans, plus 10 uh, to diplomatic relations. I think now would be a good time to try and do some more diplomacy. Oh, and a thousand experience. Upgrade any settlement building to its max level. A elite unit becomes available in a special recruitment pool. Okay. Favored by Athena. Alright, so let's hop in Ithaca. See what our replenishment looks like. Okay. It's down to three turns here. That's going to take three turns. Alright, let's do this real quick. Grants fatigue reduction for all units in the hero's army. That's cool. Ooh, ammunition. I mean, we are gonna. We do have a lot of javelins and stuff like that. Well, we could upgrade one of these to make it a little better. 
Maybe we just go full on ranged and pick like all the ranged ones. Maybe. Yeah, let's. I think I want to do that. That sounds great. Okay, let's uh, merge you two guys together, I think. I have a plan. Whoops. That is not what I was trying to do. With sword and with okay, they'll be ready. Uh, maybe I should just dismiss this guy. And then let's recruit three. Alright, so one, two, three. Let's get a fourth one of these guys. I really wish I could get more of these. These guys seem pretty cool. Um, Islander, poor attack. Maybe just more of these for now. Alright, so we'll be absolutely full next turn, and we can start marching towards war with our next uh, opponent here. Let's see, is, is there anything we can actually do here? Safe Haven, Murmurs of Sedition. Uh, let's try this one. Success! We did it. That's mainly just to get more experience for him, like this. Alright, so 50% line of sight of ho for host army. Minus 5. Minus 5 to successful rate of enemy actions. Uh, okay. Can you get like a little buff to replenishment? That sounds interesting. We could... We could Im Im embed this guy in the army and get some nice little buffs here. Or we could just use him as, you know, attacking garrisons and other actions and stuff. Uh, let's do let's do this way. We'll just use him as an agent. Maybe we'll recruit another spy to just stick in our army. I think that's fine enough. All right, let's get this one upgraded. Give us more food. Can pretty much almost get to the point where we can. Uh, get another maybe half army Get a hero and a, and a half army out Heroes I think take like 300 food. Uh, yeah 300 food and then units take like between 70 and 150 or at least the ones that I have We're still waiting for this right Three more turns. Yeah, all right, let's end the turn What do you want? Who are you friends with? You want a non-aggressive pack and you'll give us some food, or some wood. Rank 56, I guess this is okay. It's like all the way on the other side. Okay, so here's our non-aggressive pack. Uh, we finished, or we started a turn with 20 units, a single army. Good for us. Uh, cult level went down. Um, that's unfortunate. House of the Gods, ensure that one of the following buildings has been constructed. Oh, an altar. Um, I guess we want to make an altar of Poseidon. I suppose. We get wood for that. So our building... Uh, th one more turn till we have that unlocked. And I'm assuming you can build it here. Uh, so let's see. Bronze per turn. Resources to the entire province. Bronze per turn. Hmm. I'm guessing all of them are set up like that. There's a there's a regular resource that you get a high influence bonus, and then you get one that adds some type of secondary bonus but takes away from influence. And then you have the plus five to all. And then you have another one that's kind of uh you know kind of has a bonus to it. And then just a generic one that sits on level one, can't upgrade it. Um, really not so sure how to make sure we keep our influence up.
All right, I think for now I'm just gonna pop this one on since it has no negative effects. Um, maybe that one it does have negative effects, but I think the minus one construction is worth it. All right, we are we are ready here, ready to fight this dude. Guessing this one's a little easier to get to. Just gonna keep doing this one. Failed. That's fine. I have a plan. With sword and with wit. Don't make me regret listening to you. Alright, how should we declare war? Who are you friends with? No one I care about. You're pretty weak. Uh, I don't want to do that. You want war? You favored by a thief. Cut them down. All right, that's as close as we can get, I guess. That's fine. Okay, let's uh, double check to make sure there's nothing to be done. Two turns. Yeah, that that drops really quick. I'm I'm sure getting the altar built helps helps maintain that what are our missions again two provinces upgrade to max and then an altar right okay let's end turn all right so the guy that was here just completely ran away the helping hand of fate i am the trouble on the road ahead. just trying to scout here with this guy i don't i don't see him For Ithaca, show no fear they basically just gave this up. Uh, we'll auto resolve. Occupy. Let's do motivation. Cool. I don't know where he went. He like moved over this way and disappeared. Maybe he went in ambush mode just to hide. Questionable, but effective. I think I'm gonna send this guy up here to scout around. All right, he's got a de more more decent, de a bigger army over here. Like a ghost in the night. That's fine. That what do we What do we have here? Uh, we'll probably demolish that. What is this? Bronze? Great deeds. Alright, point. Um, okay, so we actually have kind of a tough decision here. So, plus 8% to hero range, 10% ammunition, or 20% to missile damage. Huh, maybe just the damage. I'm gonna do damage. So we're we're gonna start hitting hard with our uh, bow and arrow. Okay, anything we want to do for these guys? Um, I wonder if it's worth just getting rid of him for a new unit so we don't have to wait. Rank one. I don't know. I don't know the best way to do this. I mean, I already demolished him this badly. I might as well just get rid of him. Get a new one. Uh, maybe actually switch it for another range. No, probably not. I feel like that was kind of maybe stupid. But I would have I would have had to wait like two maybe three turns to fully replenish this way. Next turn we're completely ready just to march down this way. That's kind of the thought process. I have no idea if that's correct or not. 
Oh, we can upgrade this thing to get some better better units. There's some heavy ones. Interesting. Spear runners. Two-handed spear. Cool. Okay, get out of here. Uh, let's take a look at some buildings so we can plan a little better. There's our javelin guys. Warrior of Ithaca. Oh, we have two buildings here. Or right, what gives us influence? Okay, plus seven. And growth. I think I want this one for sure. And then the one for Poseidon. It only takes one to build. Plus 25% cost of he Hecticum. Or Hecatum. Uh, yeah, let's do this one first. Temple of Poseidon. We'll see how it works. And then we'll get this one next turn. 408 is all we need. Then once we once we take over this uh, this place, which is oh that one too. All right, looks like I know who our next opponent is. It's two of those. Oh, is this a different peninsula? Yet to be discovered. Is it like out here or something? Yeah, we'll want to take over this one too. Anyways, what I was saying once we. Uh, take hold of this peninsula maybe we'll work on like military uh, like making a military type of settlement you know plus experience and stuff like that and leave our main one as resources and that type of thing oh we can upgrade this one already oh because it costs food to upgrade let's do that One more turn, we'll do that. All right, let's end the turn. All right, this guy wants military access. He's buddies with Sparta and the Arcadians. Yeah, so I guess we want to get out of here with that. No. Um, what do we have? We already have a barter agreement. He wants a non, oh, we have a non-aggressive pack. Military access. You're like way over here, right? Oh, you're like through here. Maybe this will be worthwhile. He's interested in gold. Maybe we try and give him some of this. Oh, it looks like the more you hit it, it just automatically goes up in multipliers. Okay. Four, 465. Uh, maybe we cut this down a tiny bit. Throw some bronze in there. Really don't like the fact that I have to buy this guy's um, cooperation here. Let's just let's try this out. Single barter, military access. Okay. It's kind of opening up the map too. What do you want? He's going to pay me for non-aggressive pack. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, we did this one. We got 500 wood. You are now ready to recruit an agent. Such operatives may move freely behind enemy lines and strike independently of your armies. Colt level up from building the temple. Recruit one agent. Food and gold. An envoy. Where does an envoy come from? Pretty sure the priestess came from building the temple. Okay, so they cost gold. Golden food. Favor of Apollo. Favor of Poseidon. I guess we get this one. I'm going to keep stacking that Poseidon. The king's hand. We did it. Alright, let's see what... Has enrolled in your service. 
Put them to good use, either at home or abroad, and their unique skills may resolve problems that cannot be dealt with by resources or effort. Okay, do an action. Let's see. Sacrifice offering. Blood sacrifice, part of a ritual. Um, gains favor before battle. Okay. Increase happy. Oh, okay. So the top text is flavor. The yellow text is what it does. So pre-battle panel for a chance of receiving positive effects. Increase happiness of the local population. Increase the favor of the gods whose temple is inside the settlement. If there is no temple, increase the favor of a random god. Foreign settlement. Reduce morale of all units. Reduce morale of all units in foreign army. Prevent the character from moving next turn. Target character is temporarily disabled. Okay. Uh, what does our ha happiness is stabilizing? It's going up. Um, where is that? Oh, you're right here. Respect the gods. Ritual of exaltation. Let's do this one. This is impossible. Why? Why is it impossible? I know the difference. So huh. Not really sure what's going on there. Maybe we've got to wait a turn. I can make your enemies disappear. Let's do some sedition here. Failure. All right, which one is this one right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he has 19 units here. I think we'll uh, we'll encircle them. I think. Spill some blood. Go at them. It's in their favor, um, but we'll let them attack us if they want. I'm afraid I cannot. All right, let's get this one going. Keep our influence up, and it gives us growth. It's pretty good. Uh, let's upgrade this one. Get a lot more food. We took a big food hit, I'm assuming from the priest. Hmm. Oh, we need 300 to get to the next tier. Plus 40% treasure looted after battle. That's pretty good. Plus 100 food per turn for each own coastal region. That's also pretty good. Yeah, definitely want to get Poseidon up as high as possible. Uh, I'm going to keep doing that too. I'm going to keep converting food into uh, into favor with them. 200 interesting that's a pretty interesting mechanic see how it see how it plays out all right let's uh let's go ahead and end the turn i think and just look around for a second i moved both of those actually i should probably be using these tabs to be sure i'm doing stuff okay i think we're ready let's end the turn all right, bronze for stone. No. Bronze for wood. I don't. I don't like how we keep getting spammed by these trades. Oh, looks like they had an extra guy hanging out. Um. I suppose we run away from this. Abandon the field. A hecatomb may be performed in times of crisis to seek the assistance of a favored god. This sacrificial ritual can bring great benefits, but will cost considerable resources. Well, gonna have to wait a few turns because I just did that. Shining Odysseus. All right, I gotta figure out a way how to separate his stupid armies here. 
I really need to boost my food. Um, just so I can field another army. So I can just roll over these guys. Alright, food and bronze, we did the... Oh, and he, uh, we did it. We were successful. Can't really see what damage is being done, though. Never faltering. I think maybe we'll move here, go to ambush mode. Prepare an ambush. See if that works at all. Alright, this one... Happiness is terrible. Hmm. Did you... You, like, didn't do the thing I told you to do. Oh, there we go. Gain 20 favor for Poseidon. Okay. I mean, I guess we can keep doing that until we... Until we get it up uh, to the next level. Uh, I want food. We need that level three. Okay, we'll work on these after that pops up. Um, yeah, I guess we do that one. Oh, he's got another point. Incapacitate, incapacitating enemies. Poisoning. Let's do that. Alright, I can't imagine they're just going to walk down here for no reason, so I really probably need to recruit someone. This is going to be like all of our food income, though. Um, what are we going to gain? Oh, we'll get another almost 300 there. And then once these, once that finishes, another 50, another 100. Man, kind of stingy with all that. Hmm, maybe I'll, maybe I'll wait another turn. Can you do, I guess you can do more than one of these. Seems like it would take a lot of uh, resources and stuff. All right, let's uh, end the turn. What? What is this? Like you just want us to give you 180 for what? I don't. I. I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm just gonna decline it. So it looks like he walked past us in our ambush. We just took that settlement back over. Upgrade any settlement to its map. Oh, okay, cool. So we, we now have access Some to an elite. natural resources are rare, found only in certain areas. While such sites may of course be acquired through conquest, resources may also be bartered for, assuming a suitable agreement can be reached. All right, so we need to barter. That's our decisive defeat. Oh, he just sacked his own city. Uh, I'm just gonna march down there and kill him. Yeah, so our, our pathetic little ambush failed there. So let's do this fight. Like, this was his city. I don't know why he just didn't take it back. Um, you know, I'm actually going to do this fight really quick, even though it's super in our favor, but I just want to make sure I do at least one fight per video, I think. Wow, those are some choke points there. Alright, so I'm just going to try and rain a bunch of missile units down on this, guys. I'm just going to keep these guys over here for them, but I imagine they'll kind of walk back this way. So let's do this. Oh, they're just kind of marching forward. 
Those guys too. Okay, let's come back here. I just want to focus here first. Just watch my guys just pummel them. There's a lot of missile units destroying those guys. Whew, that is brutal. Yep, that just kind of myrtleized all of them. Victory is close enough to take. Oh, Alright, come back this way. They're not coming back. Let's switch back up here. We'll let our ranged units just get a few more kills on the way out. Oh, those guys coming back? Oh, they're so brave. You guys are so brave. Yeah, those little shields are not going to protect you guys. Oh, they got a couple shots off. Look at them. Man, these guys are fighting to the death. Okay, well, good for you guys. Yeah, none of those guys are coming back. They're all pretty much broken, I think. Did you guys just stop? Oh, I guess they're walking. All right, I'm going to speed this up. All right, here we go. Here's some more. The foe has sighted your hidden units. Where are you guys going? Ooh, those side those side hits are pretty pretty ridiculous. Oh yeah, I forgot how my sword units have. Uh, those uh, javelins they throw. No right, let's do nothing. These javelins hitting the flanks just do so much damage. Especially to their morale. Alright, they're running. Okay, I know that was, I mean, that was way in our favor. But, uh, you know, battles are fun. So, I just wanted to do it. Did lose 43 guys, though. Um, let's just take money. For sure. On the way. Motivation, happiness to local province, that's cool. Alright, we killed that guy. Uh, so now we just want to go back up and take those. That was basically the bulk of their army. They did sack this, which is annoying, so let's repair, repair. It's not moved. Uh, I want to scout up here. Like a ghost in the night. There's another guy. I thought he had a whole other unit. Maybe he's in ambush mode or something. Let's just go up here. See what we can see. Alright. I 
You've not moved. What else can you do, even? Alright, let's bring you let's bring you up here, see what we can do. Hostile like ritual of ruination. Reduce the morale of units. Eh. Let's try it either way. Wow, she can move pretty far. I don't know if it did it or not. I don't I don't think she has the action, I guess. Alright, so you're gonna go back up that way. I don't know if you're actually gonna be able to reach in one turn. Nope, we'll make it to the edge. Um, so we'll stop right on the edge, gain some replenishment. Alright, can't do any of this. Alright, that is going to be the end of this turn. Um, and I actually think we're going to stop right here. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying this video, comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, yeah, see you next time.